Welcome! Today we're making snippet rolls where Wendy creates. And we're starting out using a long strip of scrap fabric and a whole pile more. And we're just throwing up any pieces that we feel looks good. All using up all of our scraps. That's the whole point. Throwing different colors up, whatever we have that we grab next, not being too particular. And the excess threads will pull off before we put on our junk journal. So not to worry about them too much. And again, just a motley arrangement. we pick up next. If the pieces are too big, just pick up your scissors, cut them down, make smaller scraps, keep stacking them up. No rhyme, no reason, just making that pretty textures, pretty rough edges as we go along the scrap of fabric. Pulling up whatever we have. And again, this is going to go on the edge of scrapbooks or uh, our junk journals. So again, it doesn't matter. We're going to audition it. We can trim it or add a color if absolutely necessary before we finish our project. And I could take that out or we're going to start another piece, needle down, put that foot up to start our next row, grabbing couple of pieces and starting to lock them down. And again, in these, um, I had a lot of pinks and purples that I recently worked with. I'm glad I had 
uh, some of the beiges to really tone those down. Um, but it's whatever project you have worked on last. There's no rhyme or reason for the colors. Um, but again, it's nice to have <laughs> colors that match our junk journal when we're ready to uh, add them into our junk journal. So we're just picking up different pieces. I'm not finding too many ribbons in here. I thought I had more ribbon. There's a piece. Let's put it down under the foot. And again, as uh, long or as short as the pieces are, as long as our stitches are going over them on this line that we have as our foundation. And the scraps are whatever you have from whatever project you did last. And it's nice to cut those pieces down. I like them about an inch by two inch or smaller. I like multiple layers, multiple pieces sticking out. Here's some words. I don't want those showing. So we're going to cover those up as we go with other pieces. That was two pieces stuck together. There's another beige. And be careful when you lift your foot. If you don't have needle down, it could move on you. So that's why if your machine allows you, I always recommend foot down. Again, making these strips very, very easy. Use your uh, rotary to cut up your leftover fabric into smaller pieces. Make sure you save your selvage. This is great using up the selvage. Oh, look at that. Finally found another piece of little ribbon. Let's pop that under the foot. That's a much, much bigger piece. Just put that underneath. Cut that up. Didn't cover it that much. Little tiny pieces in there. Down here. Sorry about that. Ooh, that's bright. Machines moving that whole table.
starting to uh, make a smaller pile of our scraps. I'm loving it. We're using that stack up. That means we get to uh, start putting out our junk journal again and putting them in it. And there you go for that strip. Trim our threads and see what we have here. So again, would have liked a little more lace in these. There's some ribbon. But overall, I am very pleased using up our scraps. And we're going to just roll these up with the others that we've made um, about a week ago. And then we're going to start putting them in our junk journals. It's about time to get those back out. Start finishing them up. Start doing the binding. And have a great day, my friends. And I thought it might be fun to go ahead and wind this up. So we're just going to wind this up and make a nice little snippet roll. And that way we can snore, store all the light kinds together. And again, we're just winding that long, beautiful, luscious roll into a little bundle. And we have a snippet roll. Okay, and that was a good, uh, probably three foot. That'll do some nice uh, pages in an upcoming journal. Have a great day, my friends.